Hi everyone! The invention of the glass lens in the Middle Ages unleashed a revolution in science and technology, which is continuing to this day. Yet, for all the tremendous impact of lenses, they still have many shortcomings. Uh, this can be understood by the fact that lenses are made by a centuries-old technology called glass molding. With glass molding you have to precisely shape lenses so that they can focus light in a given spot. Now this focusing, however, is not perfect in conventional lenses. The images are blend, are blurred. That's why you need to correct them by adding multiple lenses. That is why your smartphone in its camera has actually six lenses and you can feel it from the f this bump in the back of uh, the cell phone. So one has to do not only major improvements but a radical design of uh, uh, conventional lenses. So what about flat lenses? It would ignite a new revolution in science and technology. That's what we are focused in my group right now at Harvard. To make flat lenses, we have to radically change the rules by which they are designed and fabricated. The great French mathematician of the 17th century, Pierre de Fermat, discovered that light travels the path of least time in going between two points. That is why lenses are thicker at the center, as you can see from this uh, slide. Basically, because light travels slower in glass that in than in air, this slows down the rays traveling near the center of, uh, of the lens. So, that the rays traveling at a greater angle can actually catch up so that all the rays can focus in the same point. As shown in the center of the slide, you see light coming in and being focused. Well, it's not quite as good as it looks. The image is actually blurred. And it's blurred because you see the outer rays and you can see, as you can see from the right hand side of the slide, are actually deflected closer to the lens, which blurs the focus and blurs the image. And that is why uh, one has to correct a lens by adding many more, which of course makes the whole camera way more, bigger volume, and so forth. To solve these pressing problems, we have created new lenses, flat lenses, and this is shown at the center of the slide. It's basically a glass slide, completely flat, on which we have an array of tiny nanofins. Each nanofin is about a few hundred nanometer long, and they are uh, placed in such a way that light is deflected by the fins at all angles so that all the rays converge in the same point, in the same spot of the size of the wavelength. This is the physical limit dictated by the laws of physics. Remarkably, the quality of the focusing is as good as uh, uh, the best uh, commercial objectives that create sharp images. But these objectives are much more complex. They are made of many lenses and so forth. In the future, one or just two meta lenses will replace conventional lenses in billions of cameras worldwide. Your next uh, smartphone might be as a result as thin as a credit card and you will be able 
to buy comfortable smart glasses which will be weaving for you into the real world, the world of virtual reality, an amazing and new augmented reality experience. How a metal lens is fabricated and designed is shown in a short movie which the journal Science created when it published our work. Technology is shrinking. Smaller phones, smaller laptops, smaller everything. But shrinking lenses, like those found in cameras and microscopes, has been a problem. Material scientists are trying to replace glass lenses with something lighter and smaller, based on metasurfaces or engineered materials. In this metasurface lens, tiny towers of titanium dioxide are arranged in a specific pattern to focus light. Different patterns focus different colors of light. In a traditional microscope lens, the glass varies in thickness between the middle and edges. Inside the lens, the wavefront of light is shaped via different thicknesses of glass. This focuses the light at one specific point beyond the lens. In the metasurface lens, the transparent blocks also bend the light toward the focal point, matching what happens in the glass lens, but with much less material. The tiny metasurface lens building blocks, about 600 nanometers in length, can achieve the same resolution and magnification as a lens that is 5 to 6 centimeters in length. Fabrication of these metal lenses should also be much more cost effective, compatible with silicon chip technology versus complex polishing and sometimes stringent requirements for high performance lenses. The next step is to focus all of the visible spectrum into the same focal length using a metasurface lens. Once this happens, these glitter-sized lenses can replace the lens in a smartphone, regular camera, microscope, anywhere a lens might be needed, and the great shrinking can continue. As you can see from the movie, it says the last step will be to create meta lenses that can focus all the colors in one spot. Well, we just did that a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we have been able to focus visible light into a well-defined focal spot, giving a very clear image. But we are not stopping here. The future is about creating also new optical components, flat components, that will be able to replace many conventional components. So we are talking about a multifunctional optical component. Moreover, we are designing novel optical devices that can shape light beams in arbitrary way creating strange form of light, optical vertices, optical knots, and so forth, opening up new vistas in science and technology. We are also pursuing many important real-world applications. One of the ones that I'm really excited about is uh, our collaboration with Professor Melissa Suter at the Mass General Hospital here in Boston. The, the actual goal is to use meta lenses for new endoscopic tools to image lung cancer with uh, an unprecedented sharpness and precision. These new endoscopic tools could have a major impact in the understanding of lung cancer in detecting it in actually monitoring, possibly leading in the future to better cures. Now, after all of this, we had to create a startup company, right? So, my former student, Rob Devlin, an experienced entrepreneur, Bart Riley, and myself, created MetaLens to ride the wave of flat optics as you can see from the slide. 
Now, MetaLens will focus on many applications, all very exciting, that indeed could revolutionize the world of imaging, photography, and so forth. Thank you.